Hello everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create online users functionality in PHP and JavaScript. You probably assume that I'm going to use MySQL database or any kind of DBMS for storing the data about online users and uh, that's not going to happen because I'm going to skip MySQL uh, from the reason uh, it's very complicated to track uh, online users using a database uh, because you would probably need to have one table where you will store online users or you can probably uh, add one more column to the users table where you would set the flag if they are offline or online uh, but when you start to program that uh, system you will have some problems like uh, when somebody wants to log into the website and if uh, he or she has been authorized to access some client pages or he logs in, uh, you will have to go to your database, select all online users and retrieve that data to the user. So user, let's say, have five friends that are online and in the meantime some of those users logs out. What happens? Our user doesn't have a clue that that user has been logged out and he still has the same list of users that are online. This is one of the problems. And the second problem is uh, if somebody logs in after you, you will not, be, uh, you will not have that information. And uh, we can, uh, one approach uh, is to, uh, I don't know, send Ajax request to server every 10 sec seconds to update your online users list and do such a thing, but that's, that's, that's too complicated and it's not efficient solution. And what we're going to do uh, is much, much uh, simpler, better and uh, clearer solution to this problem and we're going to do that by using WebSockets. Uh, if you're not familiar with WebSockets, uh, I hardly suggest you to see uh, their uh, page, uh, page about WebSockets on Wikipedia and I'll provide you the link in the description of this video. So I'm not going to implement WebSockets uh, now. We're going to use um, Pusher API uh, which is pretty pretty good uh, API for developing real-time web and mobile apps and uh, for the purpose of this tutorial uh, I'll uh, be using sandbox plan which is free you can go to pricing and you can see that they have a lot of plans uh, because if you have a lot of uh, users you would probably consider using bootstrap or startup or maybe even big boy plan and uh, but for this tutorial uh, 20 connections is pretty <laughs> enough and also 100,000 messages per day it's also enough, more than enough for this tutorial but I hardly suggest you to upgrade your plan if you have commercial application or something like that where you have uh, hundreds of users online and uh, that would be necessary to do. Okay, so I have already created my index.php file and because we are not using MySQL database, uh, we have a very simple, very simple login system where we prompt the users just to enter their username and there is no password needed because we don't have any database where we can look up and uh, make sure that the user, is, the lo the user uh, that uh, tries to log in is really in our database. We're not going to do that. Uh, we are simply just checking the post parameters and if a um, user has typed in his username we will uh, create session variable username and we will, all, we will also create user ID and why this is necessary is uh, because Pusher uh, uses a special type of channels for presence because we are trying to implement online users functionality we will need to use those channels and uh, the pushers authentication system uh, requires user ID to be um, uh, to be included and uh, because of that we are just creating some unique ID for each user when uh, he or she is logging into the system and uh, 
we are redirecting them to our index PHP where we are going to display those online users. And of course, uh, you should uh, keep in mind that if you leave header location without the exit, um, what can happen is some malicious user can disable header location uh, headers, uh, this type of headers in uh, browser and browser can simply ignore this location header and uh, uh, potentially malicious user would be able to see the rest of your page and we don't want to, that to happen so we have included exit uh, exit uh, uh, call and of course this part is critical because you should never never uh, tr uh, you, you should never trust the user input because user can enter some script tags some JavaScript inside of uh, input field as username and you will just simply store this in the session and after that you would probably uh, some display this information somewhere on the on the website and this is very very dangerous because that JavaScript can be exe executed on a client and can do nasty things like stealing user cookies uh, where uh, probably is user's session ID and this is very very dangerous so keep in mind that you should always sanitize this input never trust the users you would probably uh, use uh, HTML special chars or strip dogs here in order to prevent those types of attacks but that's not what we are going to talk about today. Uh, we are going to start talking about implementing uh, pusher uh, channels and how we are going to use, make use of WebSockets to, uh, to implement this system.